Good morning. So I get this text last week from a friend, and it's like, yikes, two long-standing jewelry stores closes. Oh my god, it's so sad. And I'm like, what is she talking about? I mean, like, okay, is Kevin Main here? That guy's old. He's retiring. I mean, they are going in a different chapter in life. Kevin's going to go ride a million miles in Europe. Right. There are some amazing stores that are doing fantastic in downtown. Look at the upswingers. Baxter Mormon just moved into that beautiful location, quadrupling their size in Garden Street. Len Collective doubled her size this year on High Garris Street, and that chick is rocking it. I walk by that store, and that place is crawling with customers. Cannon, the owner of Ambiance, in the last five years went from one location to four. Retail is not dead, it's just very, very different. The old guys who are used to the old way it was, people just walking in, spending the cash, that's not happening anymore. Including the big guys like Sears. The big guys that are doing well are combining online and brick and mortar. They need brick and mortar. Amazon is actually venturing into that arena with brick and mortar these days. For the smaller guys like myself and the local shops I mentioned, we work at doing what we do best. I know I, I can't complete um, with online. There are so many companies that do it really well and spend a lot of money doing it. What my successful neighboring downtown stores do well is creating experiences and creating experiences for our customers. Retail's not for wimps. It's extremely emotional. It all comes down to this fourth quarter. All year long, we're spending money, checks are flying out, credit cards are going up, receiving merchandise, and it starts to settle down and it happens all over again until this magical time, the fourth quarter. <laughs> and it all makes sense. But every year, you'll see me and my fellow retailers walking out on the sidewalk, looking down the street, where are they? Is it gonna happen this year? With nail-biting tension, we're wondering, is it going to crash? But I have good news for the retailers. This season is supposed to be a phenomenal shopping season. All the indicators are up. There's a strong economy, low unemployment. There is an optimistic consumer outlook. So there's planning to be spent $1.1 trillion this holiday season. The average consumer last year spent $1,236. This year, they're forecasted to spend $1,550. The dollars will be spent. It's up to us retailers to capture our share of the dollars. The key items are to have the merchandise, have your educated staff for those customers who are coming in who've been researching all the products online, and the ability to create a memorable experience for them. Technology has changed, making shopping much easier with automated shopping, online purchasing, with in-store delivery, or delivery to your home. But people still do want that human connection and they also want an experience. And that is where brick and mortar is most needed, and that is where our mom and pop shops can shine. I mean, how can I compete with Black Friday, Cyber Monday, being open on Thanksgiving Day? Many of my fellow shopkeepers have created their own wonderful annual events. Like Josh at Mountain Air Sports, instead of competing with this weekend, he did his fabulous balloon sale this weekend. Has anybody been into that sale? I mean, how much fun to pop a balloon to find out how much money I'm going to save versus typing in a promo code. Um, in our store, like many of the shops, this weekend is Shop Small Saturday. And in our store, we play Trivia Pursuit for your discount, Prosecco, Cider, and Cookies. I know it sounds goofy, but it is a fun party. As it gets closer to Christmas in our stores, we bring out this bell and we ask you, are you done shopping? Is your list complete? And if the answer is yes, you get to hit that bell and you get chocolate. <laughs> I mean, how much fun is that versus being at home, at your computer, and saying, submit order? It's not the same. <laughs> Creating relationships with our client is so important, and many of us are so thankful to our core, wonderful clients that understand the importance of supporting local businesses, which provide jobs for ourselves, for our employees, supplying shelter for them and food on the table. Not to mention creating those purchases for those tax dollars that are spent in our community. Brick and mortar is not dead. Shopping has changed with online, but there's still a place for us shopkeepers. And we're here to give you that wonderful, wonderful shopping experience. Thank you.